Linen is one of the oldest fabric types and still one of the best you can work with. This tutorial will offer some tips on working with linen so you can get the most out of it. Some pros for linen are, it's beginner friendly and easy to work with, it's good at hiding imperfections, it's comfortable to wear and breathable, it's versatile and can be used for garments, crafts, and home decor, it comes in different weights for different looks, it doesn't stretch or slip, it's durable. It does have a few cons like it shrinks, it can fray pretty badly, it's prone to wrinkles. Because the fibers will relax with time, this fabric is better suited for garments that are more loose fitting, but it works for both casual and more dressy attire. Do not use it for garments requiring stretch. Linen comes in different weights. Lightweight is ideal for dresses, tops, cover-ups. Midweight is good for summer pants. Heavyweight linen is great for home decor projects, jackets, and linen suits. Some linen may be labeled pre-washed or pre-shrunk, but many times you need to do this yourself. Check the care instructions and pre-treat the fabric before cutting out pieces. Many suggest soaking the fabric in hot water to shrink it as much as possible or dry clean it ahead of time if that's how you plan on treating the project after it's done. Linen fibers like to relax and soften after being treated so it takes a more lived in worn appearance and is prone to wrinkles. This makes it more comfortable to wear and usually people accept the wrinkles as part of its charm. If you want a less wrinkled appearance, consider adding a lining to your garment to help stabilize the fabric, or you can use a linen synthetic fabric blend instead. Pressing throughout the sewing process is recommended, but use a press cloth to protect the linen. You don't want the fibers to get scorched and press after pre-treating the fabric. When laying out pattern pieces, pay attention to the weave so the finished garment will drape correctly. Make sure all pattern grain lines are parallel to the salvage. For extra assurance, follow the pattern layout for nap. When cutting out pieces, you can use pins and sharp scissors for lightweight linen or use pattern weights and a rotary cutter for heavier weight fabric. When marking, test on a corner of the fabric. It's better to use fabric chalk or pencils than fabric markers, or you can use tailor's tacks. When putting together seams or hems, it's okay to use straight pins for pin basting. Using all-purpose thread is fine for linen. For a sewing machine needle, use universal and the size will depend on the fabric weight. For a lightweight linen, change your stitch length to a smaller number, like a two. Your thread tension should be in the normal range. You can also use a standard sewing foot because it doesn't slip and should be easy to sew. Linen needs to be finished because it frays. You can use an overcast or zigzag stitch to finish seam allowances or a better option might be a clean finish. Sew one eighth to one quarter inch away from the raw edge. Turn on the stitch line and stitch again to hold the fold in place. For areas like necklines and shoulders, consider using twill or stay tape within the seam to keep the area from relaxing too much, otherwise the areas might begin to sag. Linen can give you some great looking projects whether you're a beginner or have been sewing for a while. Give it a try to see if you love it too. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.